Hello people of the internet, I have a little project to show you that I've been working on over the last month or so, so I'm pretty proud of it at the moment, so here we go. This is my little arcade cabinet thingy that I built. I made it out of a old Singer sewing machine cabinet, I'm just going to turn the sound down on that for the time being. There's a lot of other noise going on, we've got building work out the back and a washing machine on for no good reason, other than washing clothes. Um, Anyway, I'll try and rush through this. We've got buttons, we've got arcade style controls, we've got buttons on either side. They currently function to, um, you can see I've got, a, and obviously I've got a VGA monitor in the, mounted in the top there. Um, I just add, I can use those to add in coins. And, uh, and then these function as, uh, as standard arcade machine controls. Running all these old arcade games in MAME. And uh, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a fun little machine I've built. And uh, this is the control system for it. I'll show you how that works. I just proved that these do work. There's my little control system. Anyway, um, these are also programmed so if I can they operate various things from within this. Uh, you know, they, they, you can access these menus, etc. And uh, you can also use it to exit the game. You can see there I'm running MAME on uh, OS Tiger 10.4. Very old version, but. So it's a lot more lightweight than the newer versions for this system, for the computer that it's running off. Um, yep, yeah, so that's uh, that's MAME, and I've got about three and a half thousand games or something ridiculous running on that. So let's just quit MAME. Uh, I've also got, uh, you can see here, I've got iTunes and Spotify and, and a SNES emulator. So that's all good. Um, also, if you want to play it up on the big screen, uh, there is. I've just installed a simple little switch inside, little unit. So a press of that, that that monitor goes dead, and up it comes on the big screen. Um, internally, I mean, this this you can see here. This is a little pocket where this um, keyboard actually lives, and that's its little USB charger. So that's handy. I've got another little pocket underneath it for discs and whatever the hell else you want to put in there. Um, I'll show you how this whole thing operates because it was a Singer sewing machine cabinet. It's, it was built with this flip open lid where you then pulled up the uh, sewing machine from inside so that makes it very handy for this kind of conversion because it means I can flip that over and bang that has a place to rest. So this is the guts. Okay, In there is the, there's the, uh, the monitor and the circuit boards I stole out of a, a bigger one. You know, it, was, it was a, a, a full monitor and I just stripped it right down to its bare components, threw away the sound card and stuff that was in there. Um, it did, it did, did run speakers but I cut that off because I didn't need it. Uh, here we have, you know, this is the back of the joysticks and the player one, player two starts and you can see they all share a common ground. This is this yellow cable daisy chained along and then all the other switches all run into these circuit boards. And you can see there what I, all I've done is drilled in and uh, soldered in these components uh, cables to these various switches on this board and uh, there's another one over here there's another one over here for player one it's a very it's a complete jumble but I know where everything goes um, they are the circuit boards in, from inside of these things these are little uh, PlayStation 1 style uh, USB powered controllers pads and they both the two controllers go to one USB port which is very handy um, around the back you can see I've got this. This is a uh, this is the back of a, a Logitech f uh, 500 watt surround 5.1 surround sound system with the uh, control interface there. And here's the little uh, here's an additional extended USB cord which you can use to plug in those additional two controllers in case you have four people who want to play the games rather than just two and you have some four player arcade games. This is the little switch for changing between the monitors. So that's uh, that's handy, and uh, then this underneath is the Mac Mini. Uh, that's a first-gen Mac Mini, which is just about capable of running all this stuff. Well, yeah, these are 80s games, so they don't take that much oomph to run. Uh, yeah, you can see I've got the power. This going straight into this uh, sound system. It's uh, it is on the network and uh, all the rest of it. And then this is a little USB hub, which has got a man's face, which I quite liked. Uh, so yeah, that that runs a lot of various bits and bobs. This is a big old subwoofer. Which makes the whole cabinet go boof, 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 boof. That's my bass impression. Boof, 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 boof. I apologise. Um, yeah, so that makes the whole thing go in and that's patched into the sound system. So there you go. I mean, that's my basic, uh, that's my project. I had a lot of fun building it.
and uh, I'd quite like to build some more really. It was uh, it was nice to get all the technical bits of obs. I had a load of it kicking around. I had the surround sound system that I got for free from somebody who broke one. He blew it up uh, and got a new one from Logitech and they never asked for the old one back. So I repaired it and got it up and running. And uh, yeah, I think the whole project altogether, considering I had the cabinet for free, I already owned the computer. Uh, basically all I've had to buy is the controls, the uh, joy, joy pads, which were a fiver each, controls were about 25 quid, uh, the monitor, you know, it, it hasn't cost me that much because I already own the bits and bobs. So yeah, that's my little cabinet and uh, yeah, I hope you're exceptionally jealous.